singles welcome to my channel thank you guys so much for being here i greatly appreciate all of you all right guys sagittarius sun moon rising and venus as it pertains to your love life as long as you are single mid-june 2021 if you haven't watched one of these before they are super short shortest ones that i do what i do is pull two separate energies two different people you could be dealing with in love in this uh time period if one or both looks like a viable option, then I will also pull an outcome for you guys with that person. At the end of this reading, as with every reading that I do, I will answer a yes or no question for you as well. So throughout the reading, try to think of a question that you might have for me so I can answer that for you at the end. It'll be the very last thing that I do. Okay. Okay. All right, this first person here, we have Leo, Pisces, Aries, and Scorpio. We have the Six of Wands here. So this person uh, is somebody who's kind of like in the public eye, whether it's just social media presence or like if they're like an athlete or something. It's There's somebody who's kind of in the spotlight, all right? They have confidence um, and they look at you as like some kind of victory. Like if they had you, they'd feel like they won something. With the tower here, they are going through some kind of major life change. With the Eight of Cups, they are walking away for, from something. So they might be just coming out of a relationship. They don't have to be, though. It's just kind of walking away from something in their life. But in doing so, um, it changes, like, their whole life. And it leaves them in a really good place. So this isn't a bad thing, all right? Let's get one on that tower for them. The Magician Reversed and temperance reversed. Okay, so they had to go through some kind of life change because there's something in their life that was not in balance for them. Um, this is also your energy, by the way. There's something happening in their life that put them in a place where they were out of balance, out of whack. They couldn't manifest anything because their shit was just all jacked up. So the universe came in, knocked it all down, caused them to walk away from whatever it was that was putting them in this place. <coughs> okay, that's just whatever they're going through in life. Um, but regardless of all this, they're done with it. Like they've, they've walked away from all of that. So you don't have to like be afraid that they're like in some crazy place. They're not. They're actually feeling pretty good. All right, let's get you an outcome. Should you choose to deal with them? The wheel. This is a faded connection. It is part of your destiny. That does not mean that you have to even talk to them if you don't want to. We have things that are put in our path. What we choose to do with them is on us, okay? So I don't want you to feel like you're like doomed to be with this person if you don't want to, all right? That's not true. But you are getting a burst of good luck with this person. It is like good karma. Um, if you choose to deal with them, things are gonna move forward in a positive direction, okay? All right, let's get you a second person, guys. What is this next person Sagittarius singles could be dealing with in mid-June? Who do we have for Sagittarius singles mid-June? The Seven of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Two of Wands. Lots of Scorpio here, Scorpio and Aries, again. Okay, so this person here, I don't know. I don't know if I would deal with them because they've got the Seven of Cups, meaning they probably have a lot of options or they're just way, their head's too foggy. They're confused. They don't know what to do here. With the Five of Cups, they're still dwelling on something from their past, whether it's a past person or past mistake. They're in this energy of negative mindset, negative mindset, fogginess. They're probably fantasizing about you, but they're just not in a healthy place, okay? I'm not saying it's even their fault, whatever, but they're, they've got themselves stuck in this place where they can't see anything good happening, all right? Um, and with the Two of Wands here, they're at a crossroads in their life. They need to pick up a, a path, figure out where they want to go because they've been sitting in this negative energy for quite a while. I'll pull an outcome, although I don't know. I don't know that I would deal with them. Oh, the King of Cups. Okay, well, it looks like they get over their emotional issues here. And again, it's going to be up to you. If you feel like dealing with somebody in that energy, cool, do you. I myself don't have the patience for it. But if you do, it looks like it pays off. This is emotional maturity, emotional um, 
availability, whereas they're not currently. I mean, they, they do progress to it, so they do heal from whatever their issue is. Um, more Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Um, but I think it's just, it's going to be up to them to just decide, hey, I'm going to take a different path. I'm not going to sit in the corner crying anymore. Up to you if you want to stick around for that or not. Okay, let's get you a yes or no, guys. Are you ready? Take a deep breath, my Sagittarius friends. Focus on your question. Here we go. Yes or no for my Sagittarius friends. Yes or no, Sagittarius. Yes or no, yes or no. The devil reversed is actually a yes. So I hope you guys wanted it to be. You guys take care. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will talk to you in another day or two with your July reading. Love you guys.